Hello, you are listening to Pankaj Rai and in this video we are going to discuss the third Hotz problem of algebra. So let us begin. The problem says that how many terms of the AP 16, 14, 12 are needed to give the sum 60? And explain why do we get two answers. So we will see about that later. So as of now we are having the AP which is 16, 14, 12, 10 and so on. And here we can see that the first term A is 16. The common difference D is 14 minus 16 which is minus 2. And we have also been given that the sum of this AP has to be 60. So when Sn, the sum of first n terms is 60, we have to find how many terms are there of this AP which will give us sum of 60. So we have to find the n which is number of terms. So that's a simple numerical. We can use the formula for Sn which is n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So here the Sn, the sum of first n terms, it is given as 60. So let me substitute 60 over here. And here we have n which we do not know. 2a, the first term, a is 16 plus n which we do not know. And d is actually minus 2. So this into minus 2. So this will be 60 is equal to n by 2. 2 into 16, that would be 32. Now we have to open this bracket. So plus n into minus 2. So that will be minus 2n and plus of minus 1 which is minus 1 minus 1 into minus 2 that will become plus 2. So 60 is equal to n by 2 and here we are having 32 plus 2 that will be 34 minus 2n. We can send this 2 over here. So this will become 60 times 2 that would be 120 is equal to here we will be having n into 34 minus 2n. So now we are having 120 is equal to 34n minus 2n square. So let us bring everything on the left hand side. So this minus 2n square on the left hand side will become 2n square, 34 on the left hand side will become minus 34n and 120 is already on the left hand side so its sign will not change so it will be plus 120 only. On the right hand side we will be having 0. Here we can see that all the terms can be divided by 2 so let us divide by 2 so it will become n square minus 17n plus 60 is equal to 0. So this is the quadratic equation which we have to solve. Now as you can see this is 17 and we need 60 so we can use 12 and 5 because 12 and 5 the sum will give us 17 and 12 times 5 will give us 60. So this will be n square minus 12n minus 5n minus 12n minus 5n will give us minus 17n only and minus 12 into minus 5 will give us plus 60. So this is the these are the factors of the quadratic equation. Here we are having n common and we are having n minus 12. Here we can take minus 5 common so we will have n minus 5 is gone so it, we will be left with minus 12. So we are having n minus 12 and n minus 5 is equal to 0. So either n minus 12 is 0 or we are having n minus 5 is equal to 0. So we are having two answers over here that n could actually be equal to 12 or n could actually be equal to 5. So this is the solution that the 5 terms will give us sum as 60 and 12 terms will also give us sum as 60. So that's the first question how many terms. So we are having 5 terms or 12 terms. These both will give us sum as 60 but we have to explain that why are we getting two answers. So let us look about that. Now let me write this AP completely. So here we are having 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8, 
minus 10, minus 12, minus 14, minus 16. I can go on but this will be very much sufficient. Now we have got two answers. First is n is equal to 5 which will give us some as 60. So here you can see that these 5 terms will give us some as 60 which is 16 plus 14 30, 30 plus 12 that will be 42, 42 plus 10 will be 52 and 52 plus 8 will be 60. So n is equal to 5. The first 5 terms is giving us some of 60. Now if you see that 12 terms will also give us some as 60. Why is it so? If you see the 12 terms, the 12 terms are actually these up till minus 6. The reason being that these 12 terms are also giving us some as 60 because the latest terms which are 6, 4, 2, 0, minus 2, minus 4, min minus 6, the total is actually coming as 0 because 6 and minus 6 is getting cancelled, 4 and minus 4 are getting cancelled, 2 and minus 2 are getting cancelled. So this sum is actually not increasing the sum at all. So we are getting n is equal to 12, that is 12 terms also giving us as sum 60. So this is the reason that we are getting two sum as equal which is S5 is 60 and as well as S12 is 60. So that's the answer that why are we getting two answers. Now if you recollect that in the first hot numerical of algebra we have a question that when if SP is equal to SQ and at that point of time we have s of p plus q as 0. Let us check because here we are having s5 is equal to s12. So if s5 is equal to s12 then we will have s of 5 plus 12 which is s17 is equal to 0. So let us check are we getting s17 equal to 0. Yes we are getting s17 equal to 0 because these are all the 17 terms. And if you can see, all the terms are cancelling each other. 8 and minus 8, 10 and minus 10, 12 and minus 12, 14 and minus 14, and 16 and minus 16. So these 17 terms are giving us sum as 0. So that's the beauty of arithmetic progressions. Thank you very much.